Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another episode of our series Rising Stars which profiles the emerging talent in the music industry. And today on this special episode, we have with us Hirdeh Ghatani, a singer, independent budding artist. We welcome you here today, Hirdeh. Thank you. Such a pleasure to be here. Uh, uh, thank you for that beautiful introduction. Uh, and um, I think it's a very interesting time to be a budding independent artist or someone who's been, you know, even though uh, it, this form of uh, or this side of the world uh, was something I started doing in 2015. That was when I first released my first independent song. Mm -hmm. um, it was is, obviously the, the field wasn't as popular as then because mm -hmm. uh, there was very little consumption of independent yeah, music. Definitely. Too. So yeah. then my first question to you is tell us about your musical journey so far. So far, who was your inspiration? Uh, the musical journey has been incredible. I feel like it's grown with every year and every uh, milestone that I've set for myself, uh, you know, and um, personally, it's been such a beautiful journey because of, um, you know, the involvement that I've had, like I've evolved with every phase that I've been through and I've had ha had the opportunity to have new inspirations with every evolution that i've had yeah. and um, yeah i mean but some of the biggest inspirations and the people who like have been my mentors or have guided me through this and have brought me to this level are definitely like a couple of them i'll name is like of course mr yar rahman he has mm -hmm. been my guide my mentor from the musical uh, world for the last um, 12 years of my life uh, when i decided i want to become a musician and i went to km and started studying he was that first person who kind of spotted me uh, gave me an opportunity and uh, that's how he's always been someone who's had my back and um, you know I've learned so much from him of course and obviously everyone is inspired by him by the kind of music he makes as well he's a legend he's a true blue legend yeah so he's been I think so one of the how most... was the experience what all you learned from him but at you know, times you got intimidated from him you know tell us about your experience personal experience um so 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 many incredible experiences, you know. Uh, definitely have been intimidated by him. I don't I don't think anybody uh, in this world won't be like he's uh, <laughs> such a fantastic musician um, and obviously such a fantastic human being that um, you know when his aura comes into the room, uh, you already feel like there's a ominous. humongous presence around you. You know, it's like ominous in a way. And um, uh, yeah, I think the first time. I interacted with him was I was very uh, I was very young actually I was uh, I think 14 years old or something and uh, I got uh, called in to just sing um, in the chorus as like you know with, with, with a few kids and the song was being made for Mr. APJ Abdul Kalam the uh, last I mean uh, our president at one point of time oh, wow. of India yeah, yeah, yeah and he basically Mr. Kalam was a writer and he's written a few books and some poetry as well so there was a poet piece that they turned into a song for Children's Day uh, and uh, I had the opportunity of singing on that and I remember I was very tiny to realize who I was you know um, you know singing for or what what that meant um, <laughs> but luckily I wasn't intimidated at all I was sleepy and I was like uh, okay and, and 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 he loved that he loved the idea that this boy doesn't even care like he's just enjoying himself and uh, that was very sweet of uh, so that was my first interaction so I think it kind of uh, calmed me down and uh, it calmed me down in the sense it, it kind of gave me a little more confidence that when the next time I met him uh, it was a little easier to have a conversation and not be as intimidated yeah that's great Hide. so Hide, what motivated you to explore the fusion of Indian classical music with western melodies in your work the, how does this fusion came on tell us about this you know, honestly, it's so strange that I, when I started off my uh, journey as a musician, even when I was young and I had music as a hobby for myself, I used to only listen to Western music. I had um, my my parents, like my dad, um, heard a lot of um, English music and especially like a lot of classic rock and um, some of the some of the old school legends like yeah. the Beatles, who are you know incredible. Those those are that that was the kind of discography that I was listening to at home. Uh, and very little Indian music, to be honest. Um, so, when I discovered um, Indian music and uh, Indian film music or non-film music and classical music um, and all these different kind of genres that came from India, I my mind was blown because I had only heard a certain... I mean, of course, I just heard English Hindi songs because I watched the movies and, and I, I lived in this ecosystem, but I wasn't as attuned to it. So, 
when i started understanding what it meant and how beautiful it was and how each raga was so different uh, that really inspired me to learn more and you know to dive in deeper mm. so uh, i think it's it, 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 it's somewhere been like a self uh, exploration uh, for me because it i took it up as a challenge that oh you know what um, i never got a chance to learn indian classical music properly so why don't i learn it while working mm. and um, why don't i why don't i push myself towards trying something with a raga trying something with uh, um you know with with uh, indian classical i mean indian instruments and just build a fusion because my strengths are already western i and i have learned western vocals as well so why don't i fuse the two and do something that uh, in, you know could be inspiring to others as well and in a way it's like um, i've always felt like um, we have so much to offer as a culture Definitely. Um, musically and artistically from many other forms so um, why not bridge that gap hmm. that so any anyway, what all challenges and rewards you faced when blending these two distinct musical worlds any challenges you you know you thought that it cannot be possible any you know any thought th- thoughts came into your mind um challenges uh, many i would say because in a way like like you know you're you're t- touching something that's sacred um right. indian classical music and right. the, or or any uh, raga based music is very very uh, sacred and right. um it is uh, you know a lot of people don't touch it till they uh, you know right. do like 100, 50 years of uh, uh, literally like um, Mm-hmm. uh learning etc right mm-hmm. so for me i was very scared when i initially started off this uh, process but my guruji really helped me initially because um, when i started learning indian classical music which was actually around 6 years ago <clears throat> uh, properly like you know uh, for quite a long time <laughs> yeah and at that point of time he uh, used to come to my studio to teach me so i i told him you know i want to i want to learn here you know it's so much fun because we have so much around us and the environment is so nice yeah. that you never know like a session could turn into a songwriting class uh which is what happened you know and uh, he helped me a lot and guided me in a way where like i was like oh i love this raga that we are going into what if i put this with like uh, you know western chords like triad chords or jazz chords or my, like sevens and you know, stuff like that and he was like ha try karte and then i was i would try stuff out and be like no 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 see that is going in uh, the tivra madhyam and that's not there in this uh, in this raga etc so he guided me and gave me a little more confidence to understand the techniques and rules and do's and do nots mm. so that was a challenge but i think i overcame it by uh, uh, involving him practice. and be yeah and practice as well um whereas i think the good part about this is uh, see the classical music is evergreen right um, uh, i feel like uh, these kind of melodies n- never leave you um, i think anybody who has liked my music will hopefully be able to listen to it for a longer duration of time whereas um, certain because because it's very deep rooted and um, um, because of where it comes from right the the the, the background of it but um, so i feel like that is that is a very big um, pr- i think that's an advantage of having uh, done something like this so do you believe in nostalgia marketing i mean how do old hits are coming back in the you know brands and they are they are just like using them in the, their campaigns the yeah. the main you know jingle lines and main yeah. lines from the old hits so yeah. what is your take on that i mean on nostalgia uh, marketing i feel like um, you know you do end you up do you think it's 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 justice to the old songs and we are using it not you no know, not we are not doing justice to these campaigns or stuff like that what do you feel about this about no. nostalgia marketing uh, look throwbacks are a part of life i feel yeah. uh, you, as as a human being you um, you cherish every moment that you've already been through uh, and uh, those are those are something that you cherish openly whereas the what you want for yourself you cherish secretly right mm-hmm. so i feel in a very nice way throwbacks are evergreen again so this is going to keep happening beautiful things from the past will keep coming back up because um but and of course you know who does it right and who does it wrong is something that uh, is a very subjective consequence because there are people who have done it right who've taken a song recreated it or used it in a jingle and made it beautiful or done justice to the past um whereas there are some that have failed to do so so um it's very subjective you can't really uh, 
trash the entire ideology of cri creation mm. but uh, yes definitely i feel like the only thing i would suggest and my my thought would be if i were um asked to do something it would be oh can i do something original that could replace this yeah, um like or is it in important for uh, me to do that for some other reason mm-hmm. um because it's only if it's for, if it's only for marketing then i think something new can come out and there's so much talent yeah and there's so many great songwriters coming out it's so much good music and there is so much scope so if you don't give them the opportunity they're never going to grow and uh, our you know our entire musical um, legacy is going to keep diving back to the past it's never going to grow further so i agree with i mean there, there are pros and cons to the mm-hmm. entire conversation So the your new song has come up the yeah. Darmia so tell us about the song uh Darmia is actually um uh, it, it was you know a guitar idea that i came up with many many years ago actually this was oh. like around yeah, yeah the song was written probably in um, 2017 or 2018 um uh, and before that um, i had composed the basic idea maybe a year before that in like 2016 or so uh so when um uh i thought of this song i thought of the ideology of you know somewhere i i got inspired by the things around me and with every song there's something that inspires me yeah. so um darmia is about honestly it's about obviously darmia the word means within and mm. in the context of this song it's about the beautiful things you see around you mm. and how you absorb that to create it into some uh, to some inspiration so um you know jaise pehle pehli barish ki boonde wo aapko क्या फीलिंग दिलाती है एंड देन विद दैट फीलिंग हाउ डू यू इमेजिन समथिंग एल्स यू नो एंड हाउ दैट प्रोबेबली हैज इन्फ्लुएंस्ड योर माइंड सो द एंटायर सॉन्ग इज अबाउट दैट एंड इट्स अबाउट टेकिंग फ्लाइट इट्स अबाउट लेटिंग गो एंड लेटिंग द यूनिवर्स काइंड ऑफ टेक ओवर एंड गाइड यू सो दैट मी हैज अबाउट दैट या सो कैन यू सिंग टू द लाइंस ऑफ दैट ओ श्योर ऑफ कोर्स ऑफ कोर्स लेट मी जस्ट पुल माय गिटार बी पहले पहले पानी जैसे बरसे रे सावन की तहरीरों में खुद के ही अक्सों में जैसे मिलते हो ख्वाबों के चेहरे हैं मेरी पुकारों में दर्मिया एक्सपीरियंस um i feel like you know um i think it's a very um politically correct answer that it says just to try and be different but it's not important to be different it's uh, important to have a like have your own approach um yeah. Yeah, you know like um just to be different you shouldn't be different you should be yourself more than anything mm-hmm. but uh, when it comes to singing a film song you know honestly there are too many minds that um, mm-hmm. involved in that process there's a music director of course uh, mm-hmm. and all these uh, films you mentioned the music director has been mr ar rahman so he yeah. um, generally actually gives you a lot of free like leeway to do what you want and mm-hmm. then guides you um, mm-hmm. if you're going wrong or I right i think that's because- the best part about it. yeah so uh, most of these songs you know including someone a song like mai tumhara um, um he gave me a melody and uh, uh, amitabh sir gave me the lyrics and they briefed me about the situation because i was anyway working on the film as a uh, uh, music supervisor so he they gave me the free hand to sing it the way i felt like and at that point i just felt like i was choked to sing that song you know in a way because the situation was so It yeah. felt like something was I stuck here. Yeah. 
so therefore therefore the style had to be very soft and because when you're choked you can't you can't be tum na hoye you can't do that you have to mm-hmm. kind of have that feeling and probably sing it in a more mellow way so um, i i actually I, i would like to tell you that it was my favorite song from the film thank you so, thank you so much it was amazing thank you thank you so much thank you so yeah i mean when you when you're working on any film um it's very important to have a holistic um, approach mm-hmm. towards Absolutely. the situation mm-hmm. what the director wants what the music director wants what the lyricist is trying to say mm-hmm. uh, so yeah it's it's a very uh, it's a it's a group effort rather than just me alone trying to do something yeah that's great uh, any you know any favorite compositions that you like about your mentor ar ar rahman any wow. favorite any favorite um, many many them. many is the word <laughs> uh, all of them no I mean. so many so many so many i mean uh, you know every day i discover a new song of hers that i certain i've heard before but i'm like wow how did he do this how did he think of this and like yeah. w- like wow how did he go from here to there uh, there are so many songs you know uh, but one of my and i think everyone who knows me knows this that one of my favorite albums and it's very personal again i don't think it's uh, i'm not, i you know it's not got to do with anything else but my favorite albums of rahman sir's has been rockstar and mm, um uh, yeah i think it's also because that was kind of the album that somewhere wanted me to become a musician yeah. um i heard that album and i was like this is this is what i want to be um this is what i want to do i want to because it connected me, me me so deeply and what i love about the style of his composition is that um, there are no bounds like a song like phir se ud chala start somewhere and end somewhere else it literally starts like a power ballad not even a power ballad it starts like one um, uh, you know north eastern vibe there are these women singing and then suddenly it goes into this guitar vibe with a beautiful voice singing and it ends at this techno nomadic chant chant so it's outstanding how he thought of the entire uh, mm. song right and um, there's so many songs like that like in that film specifically that um, transcend you through a journey mm. uh you know it starts somewhere and ends somewhere else and mm. shows you the entire picture yeah, of uh what the person is trying to say mm. i i honestly like songs like that i enjoy i enjoy music like that that takes me on a journey with it um mm. uh, not just like okay i like this one part and okay theek hai like this is fun <laughs> so yeah i i i know that back then that this song mai tumhara it was a viral hit on instagram it was a viral hit on reels in fact yeah. so how matlab how was the experience you felt on the on the day that you found that it's a viral hit and it's a it was a trending song yeah. it was not yeah, yeah matlab back then i'm talking about so what is your take on that the reels algorithm and the campaigns that are going on these days the trends the strat- strategies the marketing what do you think about this um i mean they're great tools Uh, they're yeah. fanta- in fact they're fantastic tools you know exactly. for somebody to get their uh, music or any art form of art out there mm-hmm. i feel like um, it has somewhere given um, it has broken the monopoly of music in a way mm-hmm. where it's not you don't have to go through a label to release a song mm-hmm. exactly. you don't have to have um, someone backing you to release a song like, yeah you just put it on reel and it, if if it's and, a good composition it'll go viral yeah. and and it's a very very win win situation for both of them totally for totally the fans so and for the artist i love i love the idea of that and um, yeah. the feelings always special yeah i mean i think if any anybody is, is giving your work love um, <laughs> it's a great feeling it um, only inspires me more to do better and like to do more work and like hopefully um, keep up that standard but uh, you know uh, I'm 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 actually uh, very social media challenged I'm not the kind of person who's like taking photos all the time and I'm uh, uh, but it's interesting because I've had to evolve and adapt because I feel like I'm uh, as a 90s child um, <laughs> and uh, I mean an early 90s in since 91 year uh, I mean uh, 91 born uh, I've seen everything right from um, I've seen dial up internet <laughs> to uh, I've seen uh, love to literally uh, modems and pcs and whatever everything like the evolution of the entire no social media to little social media to only social media the uh, entire yeah. graph so it's been fun you know like i honestly feel like it's been fun to evolve with time and be able to see it all like our parents they um 
i think they they were too used to not having the internet and social media around for the for, former part of their lives so and now the, it, and now they used to have that and now they used to it and now they love it Very some some somehow yeah. it's like uh, they can't get off of it in a way you know like my mom is always on uh, her phone and so is my dad like they and, and it's great because they're getting great information and everything uh, but i feel like uh, being a 90s kid no uh i know a lot of people around me also who are uh, been bo- have like are around my age um we're not as uh excited about uh the the medium because we've seen it all yeah. we've seen the yeah. entire progression so it's like ha hai acha hai isko na achhi cheezon ke liye use karenge and we'll use it not when we need something to something new for us basically ha 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 yeah whereas oh, yeah. the newer generation like who i think they call the gen z mm-hmm. uh they live there hmm. that's their world they they were I, born I'm with the it I'm the Gen Z. <laughs> so you guys are born with it like, you know? <laughs> yeah so then are there any dream collaboration or specific musical projects that you're looking forward to um, a lot yeah like i have uh, um there's a there's a singer who i i'm very very excited to collaborate with which is happening hopefully very soon oh. and um then uh, there is um i mean dream collaborations there are like so many names out there on future and... projects tell us about that also. okay so basically i'll tell you um so there's this, um, a song uh, coming out in a tamil film uh, hopefully very very soon yeah 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 so i've sung a song for a tamil film i don't know if i can give you too much more information about it <laughs> uh, but it's right around the corner and it's going to be very very interesting it's a very big film it's a very fun song and um, um the film's name uh, okay I, i i don't know if i can tell you uh, <laughs> yet yet uh, so yeah that's happening and that's going to happen very soon um another thing that's working any, in the pipe any live performances any you know events happening in the coming months uh i'm not doing anything in december okay. as uh, we just finished an entire europe tour with mr rahman uh, oh, okay. around a month ago um okay. so taking a little break from the live scene i've mm-hmm. been only traveling so how through was this the experience incredible incredible mm-hmm. you know it's fun to see um, and this is an experience that i've had with mr uh, rahman sir and mm-hmm. it's a very special experience when mm-hmm. you get to see um, you know people from other countries coming right up in uh, right up in the front and dancing mm-hmm. to chhaiya chhaiya mm-hmm. and they may probably don't even understand the language it's mm-hmm. a very proud feeling you know it's very like proud. and like they're all standing up to vande matram when you end the show you feel the sense of pride standing on stage and being like wow sir what have you done like you know you you uh, uh, you like put the music in put put in in music on the world map in a way where you can't even you know we can't even imagine so um, it's always a very very exciting feeling and also these are songs that i've loved uh, these are songs that i wish i had made you know because they're so good uh, so it's a lot of fun to play them live with so i play the keys and i sing on all on his shows so okay. yeah it's exciting it's challenging uh, um it's been a roller coaster mm. but uh, i'm very glad with where i am uh, mm. in that platform today yeah so any advice for budding artists you would like to give and any message for your fans yeah for sure uh, i think for uh, budding artists i feel like anybody who wants to be um, you know in 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 this business and wants to do music they should like I, i feel this is my personal opinion i feel one is just keep your originality uh, yeah. whatever you are however you sound whatever your style is don't change that because somebody else says are nahi ye to nahi chalega kuch aur karo nahi yeah. sab chalta hai yeah. and that time is coming where every person's niche is going to be valued and it's going to even if it gets you 50000 uh, uh, streams or 5000 streams or 2000 streams or 1000 streams yeah. it's good yeah. because those are unique people who actually like your work uh and you'll go a long way It'll, it only gets better from there so that's mm-hmm. one i think that's the most important thing and also uh, be self sufficient yeah yeah i mean like mm-hmm. try at least i mean if you can pick up a guitar you can spend some time and i'm not asking you to like be a proficient player but if you can play pick one instrument up and learn it a little bit as a singer then uh, it's it's a great thing because uh, as a singer um, it's very important to know instrument i feel because a you can accompany yourself while you're singing and b i think it helps you get your tuning right as well um and also then you can write songs yourself you don't mm-hmm. need like you don't need to jam with someone to write a song mm-hmm. so that's great um 
yeah i think these are the, some things for my budding artists and for my fam fan Hi. fans who i actually call like my family uh thank you so much for this beautiful year i think this year has been really exciting because uh, a lot has gone down it's been a roller coaster of a year for me from good bad ugly everything yeah. but uh, the great part is the way we ended it with these three beautiful songs that i've had yeah. my you know that that have been my my um, the very close to my heart and i've had the opportunity to, re- to release mm. so um it's been uh, very pleasing to see that you guys have accepted it enjoyed it uh, and given in your love to it and uh, i'm more motivated to release yeah like now now i feel like chalega matlab hai log hai jo sun rahe hain aur unko pasand bhi aa raha hai to main khush hu main you know i'm going to definitely keep releasing i'm not going to sit back and think are yaar par yaar mujhe to 15 million aa sakte the kaise aaye main ab kya karu nahi i'm just going to enjoy my process i'm loving my work and i'm going to keep releasing thank you so much today for your time and my pleasure and it was a pleasure to have you here and all the best for your future thank you thank you so much Thank <music> you.